the perception I always believed about myself was I was unlovable because I was sexually abused mm. and I never told because I was threatened. Yeah. My dad and my mom had got divorced and my dad decided he wasn't going to be a dad anymore. Mm. And then my dad left. It just reiterated the fact that I was unlovable. Mm -hmm. And so growing up, you know, I suffered a lot of like depression and cutting myself and bulimia and hating my body and you know I remember a point of looking in the mirror and and just realizing like I was dirty no one was gonna love me and that memory like burned in my mind and from that moment on I just felt like this was how life was gonna be it was mm -hmm. gonna be hard and I never told anyone about it. And it just built from there, you know, abusive relationships, men that were druggies, men that were jerks, you know, I dated them all. I just thought, you know what? No one was ever gonna love me. No one was gonna care. No one was gonna be there. Life sucked. It was never gonna get better. It was awful. And I had a brutal suicide attempt. You know, you know the story. Yeah. I went into the hotel room and after a really long time, I had decided to take my own life. I woke up on the bathroom floor the next morning. That was the worst moment of my life. Yeah. But it was also awful to try and figure out how I was gonna rebuild my life. Yeah. Because what do you do after that? Right. Like, you still feel the same, you still have the feelings. I didn't know why I survived. So I didn't know that you should love yourself. I didn't right. know that I could give myself the love that I needed. I thought I had to look for it on the outside and yeah. I could never find it. Mm. When you are stuck in that perception yeah. and you're just looping the same perception loop over and over, you have the same experiences over and over and you're stuck looping because you can't see outside of your own perception to see there's something greater on the other side of it. If you tell yourself that you suck and no one's going to love you, like you hear that over and over in your own mind, it's playing. That's what you're going to believe and mm -hmm. that's all you're ever going to see. Yeah. And the beginning, but I just started writing down things like, you know, who I wanted to become, who I wanted to be with. I wasn't going to accept the abuse. Like I had to start loving myself before yeah. anyone else could love me. You need to look at your mindset. Mm -hmm. and um, maybe start writing out goals and like things that you want to do or things you want to become or you know maybe a different career or something that's going to make you happy anything mm -hmm. fear always like takes over your life i always want to grow mm -hmm. i always want to learn you know there's people out there like i don't need personal development i feel fine i don't need to grow those are the ones that need to grow the most <laughs> right. because you're hiding from your true self and if you're not growing you can't become your true authentic self